from that note. The other thing that, that we would love to be able to do is to ask, can we actually um, treat this sort of like, just like with the oncogenics in, in, in uh, neurons, like a sort of cellular virtual reality? Can we put in different stimulus patterns, arbitrary ones in time and space, etc., and then ask, how does the cell interpret those? What, what, and, and, and through that sort of way, uh, learn more about how the cell is, is, is using the flow of molecular information. So how do we um, get control? So the, the first thing is I'll tell you about um, a light-gated protein interaction module. Uh, there are several now that are, that are out there that people are working on, uh, and we, we happen to work on this one that Anselm uh, 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 started uh, working with, which is uh, from Arabidopsis. It's the phytochrome uh, B PIF system. The key thing to remember is that this is a, a light-gated interaction module. It's essentially a, a light toggle. If you hit it with, 750, uh, with uh, 650 nanometers, uh, then it changes conformation and it will bind, the phytochrome protein will, will bind to this PIF interaction uh, uh, unit. So it's, a, it's, a, it's an interaction uh, module that's composed of two things. Uh, what's really nice about this system is you can actually hit it with a different wavelength, 750, and toggle it off. Okay, so it's, it's quickly reversible. Um, and uh, if you are, if you, of course, many signaling uh, 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 behaviors are regulated by, um, by recruitment and association, much as we learned from Tony's uh, seminal work with SH2 domains. Uh, and so if you have a protein like this and you hook it up to this light-gated interaction, you can often uh, now control the activity of that signaling protein with light. Okay. And what's really uh, great about this is it's very modular in principle. Uh, you can control uh, any kind of recruitment-dependent event uh, if, if you jigger with it correctly with, uh, with the phytochrome system, at least in principle. So another thing I want to highlight is this rapid timescale at which the phytochrome, uh, the phytochrome system can be uh, utilized. So what we